It seems like 343 is finding a way to monetize Halo even more. 343 recently released his blog of battle pass and operations when it comes to season five. And after reading this, it sounds like events will no longer be a thing within Halo Infinite and they're being replaced with operations that have monetization attached to them. Now, when you first hear this, you're like, oh my God, this sounds awful, 343, bad company, all that kind of stuff we always hear. But really, it's actually a good change. Now, am I drinking the 343 Kool-Aid or is this actually something good? Well, let's dive into those details. First, let's talk about the Battle Pass. A significant change is happening with this where it's only going to be 50 tiers. Now you might think 50 tiers, that's like literally half the content we normally get when it comes to a seasonal pass. Well, not exactly. If anything, we might actually be getting more content. Going through season four's battle pass, it becomes very obvious what I'm talking about here. Where how many times did you have to unlock this emblem right here? How many times did you have to unlock this coding so many times over? I actually went through and counted through this entire battle pass and there are 57 duplicates. And the big change coming with season five is that duplicates are no longer going to be a thing within the battle pass. Saying we can now include multiple content items in a single tier of of the past. So with season five, you will see a coding offered in a single tier. So you only have to unlock it once. Similarly, rather than having to unlock a left and right shoulder across two separate tiers of the past, in season five, you'll unlock a full set in a single tier. So gone are the days of duplicates within the battle pass, really padding out the content. They found a way in the UI to actually make it so then you only have to unlock the shoulder pads once, this emblem once, this coding once, which will help out with that sense of progression throughout season five you don't feel like you're just rehashing content over and over again you're actually getting something new and interesting every time you unlock though the premium battle pass will cost 1000 credits and will still include the 1000 credits to be unlocked across the 50 tiers the premium pass will still include an extra challenge slot and bonus xp while active so really it's just the same battle pass we know and love at the same cost you still get the money back basically by grinding through the content but you just remove the duplicates out of the whole thing so generally it's about the, all the same my thought though is that we're shorting down the battle pass down to 50 tiers it's gonna be a lot easier to go through the entire seasonal battle pass i haven't used a single double xp boost throughout the entirety of season four and i'm like level 96 and i've really casually played halo infinite and from all the information we've recently received with the reveals of season five that XP gains don't really seem to be changing a whole lot, so you'll be getting through this event pass very quickly. Though if you're a free-to-play player, things are going to be a little different. Saying that the free content in the battle pass has also been streamlined to span the first 20 tiers of the pass. The free battle pass will be available until the new operation begins. We'll talk on that a little bit later. So Season 5's free battle pass will be active until November 14th of 2023. Upon expiration, the 20 free tiers of content will will no longer be available to unlock if you haven't already completed those tiers. So this isn't the same battle pass we know previously where it just stays permanently. If you don't unlock everything, you will actually lose it. So it actually gets you a little bit of FOMO going with this. Again, this is for the free version of the battle pass. And for clarification, when the free battle pass period ends, players will permanently keep all the free content they've unlocked prior to the cutoff date. Now let's talk about the new source of premium content coming in with Halo Infinite, the operations. These are replacing events. And we're gonna have two operations before the end of this year, which is operations of Combined Arms and Winter Contingency 3. With season five, we're evolving to operations, which are similar to events in spirit, but brings a few specific changes we want you to be aware of. One major thing is that operations will be completely free and will include 20 tiers of free unlockables. But Kevin, you said it was paid premium content. And yes, these operations are free, but it says we're here, players may choose to upgrade to active operations for 500 credits, which will instantly unlock an exclusive bonus customization item while also making the operation pass durable. It will not expire and when equipped offers bonus XP and an extra challenge slot during the operations live window. So it just basically kind of sounds like if you want the little extra goodie that comes along with the operation, you can, but the 20 tiers, which is the main course of the content 
is still going to be free. But having these operation passes be durable and not expire is a really nice thing. There have been many times with Halo Infinite where it's like a Monday night, the day before the event ends. I'm like, oh my gosh, I still have half the pass to go through. So it'll be really important to see what 343 does when it comes to making that extra bit of customization, something that people would be willing to pay 500 credits for. But there's also a shorter way to go about it. Second premium option for 2000 credits instantly unlocks all 20 tiers at purchase as a convenience and additionally includes the exclusive bonus customization item. So if you just don't have the time but want everything, just pay the 2000 credits. So these operations are limited in time. Well, how limited is that time? Well, I'm glad you asked. Unlike prior seasonal events, a typical operation will run approximately four to six weeks and the reward track is available to progress and unlock for the entire stated duration. An important distinction when it comes to progression saying starting with season five operation progression is based on match XP so you can play whatever playlist you want when even in custom games which is a new addition with season five here and make progress across the 20 tiers. Challenges are still there as another source of XP for players on top of match XP. So completing your challenges will still be probably the most effective way to progress through these passes as they have been, but it's not a necessary thing. One thing that events have done really well for Halo Infinite, which makes me concerned about operations, is one, the duration of these operations, right? They last about a month, month and a half, really. And they're supposed to be replacing these events that we've had. But the nice thing about these events is they'll give you something new to do for a couple of weeks when in Halo Infinite. And as of recently within season four, have provided awesome new content drops for us to drop in and play. Most notably recently, the Tenrai, I believe three event, right? Which brought all those really cool samurai styled, ancient feudal Japan styled maps. Amazing stuff. Is there going to be something along with these operations that will also bring content in throughout the operation so it's not so stale? Will there be like an operation refresh in a way? Or is each operation going to bring some significant content people want to jump in and play? With the image of combined arms here, you see the stalker rifle and multiple sniper rifles, which makes me think it might be some kind of sniper rifle type mode with this map in particular when it comes to Prism. I mean, the customization on the Spartan looks awesome. Or how about the Winter Contingency 3 event, which is going to be kind of our winter themed event, which you see very much in the theme of the winter holidays and things like that. But is there going to be something worth playing within this? Are we going to see maybe even like a holiday themed, snowy themed kind of maps brought into play with this whole event? That would be interesting. We've seen this previously done within Halo 5 and something like that for Halo Infinite would be amazing and get you to jump in and want to play rather than just grind through another pass. Season 5 will have two operations that at least have been named so far. One is Combined Arms, which will begin on November 14th and Winter Contingency 3 for December 19th. Now, I did actually watch an IGN video talking about Firefight coming into Halo Infinite. It's not going to be there at the launch of Season 5. It's going to be coming during the season. So most likely with combined arms, which would kind of make sense with the theme of that mode, almost in a way with Firefight, that we could see Firefight coming on this November 14th date. But of course, once we get some more information about that, I'll share with you guys here on the channel.